Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Today we're gonna focus on Epiphany, which is the default elementary OS web browser and its new features on elementary OS Juno. People tend to criticize Epiphany, saying that it should be replaced with Firefox or Chromium, so I wanted to take a good hard look at its performance on Juno, compare it with Epiphany on Loki, as well as Firefox and Chrome on Juno as well. New features. Let's start with a quick tour of what's new in Epiphany on Juno. First, it now supports Firefox Sync, which allows you to sync Epiphany with a Firefox account, so you keep all your history, bookmarks and passwords. This is really useful if you want to use Epiphany at home and Firefox on your work machine, for example. The options menu has totally been redesigned now. It's better space, more legible and more compact, but still packs the same options. The bookmark library also has been totally redesigned to make those favorites easier to manage, reorganize and even delete. Epiphany now has a tab switcher menu integrated, to quickly switch between open tabs. Finally, Epiphany on Juno also has a new download manager, which looks and feels way nicer to use than the previous implementation. Performance For these tests, we'll run Browserbench on Epiphany and compare the results between Epiphany on Juno, Epiphany on Loki, and Firefox and Chrome on Juno. So let's start with Epiphany on Loki. We're running Ares 6, a test designed to measure JavaScript performance. On Loki, Epiphany reaches a mean of 35.92 milliseconds. In this test, lower is better. Then, Epiphany on Loki scores 73.12 on Motion Mark, where bigger is better. On Speedometer, Epiphany scores 55.70 runs per minute. And finally, on the Jetstream test, which tests JavaScript performance for advanced applications, it scored 157.42. Now on to Epiphany on Juno. On Ares 6, it scored 35.73, which is only a very small improvement on its score on Loki. On Motion Mark, the score is 71.07, which is also marginally worse than what Epiphany scored on Loki. On Speedometer, Epiphany scores 56.8 runs per minute on Juno, which is a little better than Loki. Finally, on the Jetstream test, it gets a 159.31 score, again, just a little better than Epiphany on Loki. So all in all, there doesn't seem to be a major improvement in Epiphany on Juno in terms of the rendering engine compared to Loki, but how does it compare to Firefox and Chrome on the same machine? Firefox got respective scores of 92.83, 100.73, 46.5 and 123.86. In general, Firefox on Linux seems to have worse JavaScript performance than Epiphany, which is a big surprise to me. On Motion Mark, though, it outperformed Epiphany by a large margin, scoring more than 100 points compared to the 70 to 73 uh, scored by Epiphany, which means that Firefox handles graphics and animation better than Epiphany. All in all, the default elementary OS browser seems to hold its own against Firefox in the JavaScript department. How about Chrome then? On the same browser bench tests, Chrome scores 42.88, 107.42, 70.69, and 122.67. All in all, JavaScript performance seems worse than what Epiphany gets on elementary OS, except for the speedometer test, which seems to imply that Chrome has better overall rendering performance, since this test monitors the DOM APIs, the JavaScript engine, the CSS performance, as well as other technologies. Chrome's support for using the graphics system seems also way better than that of Epiphany and a little better than Firefox's. All in all, however, Epiphany on Juno holds its own very well and I think it's a solid browser. If all the extensions you need is adblock and syncing bookmarks with other machines, it's a great choice on elementary OS. Of course, benchmarks don't tell the whole story and using the browser is a way better test, so why not give it a try when you install Juno and see how much you like it. I know I will try it. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!